welcome to another wonderful episode of the Bullcast Podcast. I'm Katie Pickler, and with me is Court Winston. Good afternoon, everybody. And, I mean, last time I know we made this whole big deal of introducing Cameron Spann, officially. And you know what? Cameron Spann is officially part of the podcast. Oh, wait. No, he's not. He <laughs> left us. He has left us rogue, y'all. We are in charge of not only recording this episode, but trying to make sure like it actually is really recording p- properly. It looks, so, it looks good so far. It looks good so far. <laughs> so if this one sounds a little different, um, it, it's not Cam's fault. It's because the two of us were in charge. But, you know, we're already messing stuff up. Where's that opening bell? There it was. There there it went. <laughs> okay, so this one's going to be kind of a short one because we are the Thursday before New Year's Eve. I mean, it, where did this year go? I have no idea, except I'm glad it's almost gone, except I also uh, <laughs> am kind of of the opinion now that 2022 is going to be no better. I'm just, I've hit full on Eeyore mode. Yeah. There, n- nothing, nothing is going to improve. It's 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 just like a meme I saw the other day. I was I was happy about 2022 until I realized that it was spelled 2020 T O O. That's a good one. Um, I uh, the other night were stumbling on I guess it was Netflix maybe or Hulu and they had something about like 2021 some spoof but it's about everything that happened in 2021 and 2021 can die or must die or something, something like that. Yeah. yeah, I started watching it and then I just got really depressed because number one I had forgotten. All the crazy stuff that has happened throughout this year. And number two, it's just like they started it off with, we thought 2020 was going to be bad. And then 2021 was kind of like, hold my beer. Here we go. Yep. And so hopefully 2022 is going to be better for everybody. And it's not going to be a T-O-O. But um, last year, and I know that uh, I think we've put it out on social media and stuff, that kind of our recap of last year, we did our New Year's resolution um, episode and it was all about how this is the time of year that that's a popular conversation starter of like oh what's your new year's resolution and most people say like oh I want to lose weight or I want to you know be a better person or I want to try and you know volunteer more or something like that and it's just this some magical reason why everybody thinks that the year changes that you start all over. You start fresh. Everything can, you know, change. And yes. Ev- On this magical day every year, December 31st, suddenly when the sun has finished, the earth has finished one full revolution around the sun, it uh, it, it means that magically we're all going to be better, better people next year. Yeah. And it's, you know, unfortunately, I started thinking about this. Okay, so say that someone sets that uh, they're going to do financially better in 2022, that they're going to be better with their budgeting. Well, imagine if you go, okay, January 1, I'm going to be great. I'm going to keep to a budget. Well, what happens? Those credit card bills, those purchases you did in December in 2021 are going to still creep into 2022. And so that could deflate somebody and totally ruin their resolution if they're, you know, a little bit fragile about it and not realizing that, yes, every day is a new day to take a new step in whatever direction your goal is. But you also got to remember, it didn't completely erase everything. It's not like we all wake up and, you know, nothing ever happened and it's all just perfect and everyone forgot about. Oh, no, Katie, it's a magical new year. (laughs) It's a magical clean slate. We're sticking okay. with that. I remember my 2021. Do you remember yours? We're going for a magical clean slate. I just, I've still got some more stuff I want to try and finish within this year. But it's just, it's crazy all the things that you try and, you know, wrap up and clean up within this one year before you get to the next. And yes, there are things you want to do. Like we mentioned on the last episode, those end of year tax gifts and things like that. But I thought on this episode, kind of just a little synopsis of a very broad general soapbox thing that I want to get on of everybody is different and every case is unique and different. And what I mean by that is, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are a financial podcast. I know we've had a lot of episodes where we've kind of been a little loosey-goosey and hadn't really harped as much on the finances, but there are so many times that we talk to people and they're coming in and it's in our nature of wanting to do, oh, okay, well, this person lost weight doing this way. 
And so I can lose weight because they lost weight doing that way. Or this person got really rich buying these crazy stocks. I should buy these stocks. And those are both really extreme things. But the reason I want to bring that up is because, you know, looking at other people and how they're handling their finances or how they're handling their struggles or successes or whatever it could be doesn't necessarily mean that's right for you. So you've got to remember that if you truly are wanting to do the best for your financial health, you know, your tax health, your legal, whatever it may be, it's about making sure what's the right fit for you. And nine out of 10 times, you're probably not going to find that answer on Google. <laughs> like you, you got to seek a professional at times. Well, the uh, it was actually last night when I got home from work, my wife was finishing up a documentary that's on Netflix right now about the big the big beanie baby boom. Ah. And of course, we've talked about beanie babies before mm-hmm. and sort of uh, how how that burned out rather quickly. Uh, it actually didn't burn out as quickly as I thought. I mean, they were around for like a decade. Long time. That kind of blew my mind. I really thought it was a way shorter period. But anyway, uh, with Beanie Babies, with with um, uh, cryptocurrency, with certain stocks, like for instance, GameStop, all mm-hmm. of those sorts of things. If you are coming to the game and making decisions based on what has happened for someone else, guess what? It's already happened for them. Yeah. And there is no guarantee that it is going to happen for you because whatever special circumstance occurred that made some giant gold rush happen for them, it's gone. It's over. It's not going to happen again. Or at least there's no guarantee that it's going to happen again. So don't make your decisions on what happened for someone else. Yeah. Make decisions based on what is best for you. And yeah. that it, that applies to not just investment stuff, but also uh, everything else in your life. And it's... A lot of times what happens is that somebody has gotten really great advice, but it's just situational. So there was someone I was talking to, um, they're younger, they're really just starting out in their career, and he was talking about how he's putting money into a Roth IRA, which is great, wonderful, young, saving for retirement, and that's a great discipline. So yes, kudos to that. Got that low tax bracket right now. Yeah. You know? um, and saving that money, you know, growing tax-free. And so when he hits retirement age and is able to take that money out tax-free and not have the penalties when he reaches retirement age. But the thing is, is that I could have just left it with that conversation of, oh, good job. I'm so glad you're saving for retirement. But that's where you had to go and find out, okay, It wasn't exactly the best use of the money at this time because this individual needed to build up a little more in their emergency fund. And so that's where I'm saying it's, you know, there could be good ideas of, yes, save for your kid's education or save for your retirement, but it's all circumstantial and it's all about what is the right fit for you right now. And so, you know, with someone like that, it's like, okay, let's build up your cash flow. Let's make sure you're in a good position and then get back to that great discipline of saving for your retirement. But it's just, it's all about... I think a lot of times we want to find our own answers and we're, we're in the all the world of WebMD. We want, you know, the internet to tell us what's wrong with us. We don't want to go to the doctor, but with something as precious as making sure you're legally covered or your finances are covered or you're doing the right tax thing, I think it's where you've got to get your team together and keep checking in and making sure you're making the right steps because one wrong step can send you down a bad trail and it may be hard to get back on the yellow brick road. (laughs) <laughs> Make good choices, people. So, I mean, it's it's my soapbox, but it's just one of those that I kind of overarching with everything, whether it's, you know, deciding to start a new business or whatever your resolution is, think about it and make sure that you're going at it the best possible way that fits what's going to benefit you, what's going to be- benefit your family. And also it's, you know, one of our most precious assets is time. And so using your time and your hard-earned money wisely and making sure that you're doing what needs to be done and you're not wasting a lot of that precious time going down the wrong path. I want to just point out that it it sounded like you said, heart-earned money. And I I, I just, I feel like we should have a a phrase, heart-earned money, where it's like really special money that we really (laughs) earned with our heart. Earned with your heart, (laughs) yes. I feel like nonprofits could say that. Like that was our heart. It's heart earned, earned money. Heart earned money. We 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 warmed your heart, and so you gave us money. Mm. Yeah, but um, and it's 
New Year's, hopefully 2022 is going to be a better year. It's not. <laughs> um, this, you know, if you do have financial resolutions or any resolution starting a business or some, anything like that, we've got tons of podcast episodes regarding those. So you should go check them out. Um, I know for us as a podcast, we're really wanting to beef up guests. And uh, we've got a couple people lined up for 2022 to bring on. And, um, you know, we're going to keep continuing growing in our careers and trying to make sure we're bringing different topics and knowledge to you guys. But we would love to hear from you and hear suggestions of a guest or a topic or really anything going on because it's, you know, us talking to you guys and teaching different subjects and all of that actually helps us learn as well. And it's, you know, we're all in this together, (laughs) y'all. That's, that is absolutely right. Uh, It's just like the song from... Uh, from High School Musical said, we're, we're all, all in this together. together. Yes. Can we get Zac Efron as a guest? Oh, my Lord. He does that whole, like, clean energy and the living and stuff. Listen, and- I, I mean, I have nothing against Zac Efron. I mean, I he seems to he seems to be, at least on the surface, he seems to be a very decent guy. And you're right, he's doing that whole environmental thing show on Netflix. And, uh, of course, he's, he's chiseled and abby, so I'm sure there are all <laughs> sorts of people that like his abs and all of that kind of chiseling. I think he's but... now got the dad bod, is what they call it. Oh, really? Huh. I, I didn't know about that. Anyway. Or the chiseled dad bod. I don't know. <laughs> chiseled dad bod. Man, that is what I would like to have, the chiseled <laughs> dad bod. Uh, right now, it's just fat bod. Um, but anyway... What we haven't done yet is, and we've done this backwards a few times now, but we didn't do a list, Katie. I want to do a list. We'll do a list. Okay, so we're going to do a list. I'm excited. We're going to do a five, top five list. It's been a long time since we did that, but like each of us are going to break down our top five. It's basically top five. I can't believe this movie's coming out in 2022. Whether you can't believe it because why are they doing that, or you can't believe it because you can't wait to see it. It's your top five 2022 movies. Go, Katie. Okay, I definitely have to, I know it's a shocker for any of y'all that listen, but um, my number one would be Halloween Ends. This is supposedly the last movie. Sure um, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this will have uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, and we are supposed to find out what happens to Michael Myers. So mm-hmm. I can't wait. I mean, the, you, one of the one of the the best movies ever in the, the, in the Friday the 13th series was Friday the 13th Part 4. And it was the death of Jason. I yeah. mean, you know, and he died and he was dead and it was awesome and everything was great. And then they brought him back. Of course they brought him back. Yeah. Michael Myers is not going anywhere. No, he always comes back. It's kind of like a joke. Uh, if you've ever seen Days of Our Lives, Stefano character. I, I never really watched it, but my mom watched it. And I swear that character died and came back to life so many times over and over again. <laughs> That's, you know, daytime TV show. Okay, well, my, I, we're going to swap back and forth. So my, my first one is going to be Thor Love and Thunder. I just oh yeah. First of all, th- this is a this is a big deal for several reasons. Uh, it's going to be a big Marvel movie, obviously. Um, for anybody that is familiar with what's going on in in Thor: Love and Thunder, you're probably pretty excited because there's going to be some flippity flops. I won't get into too many details. But uh, another big thing, another big element is this is the first time that we've had a Marvel character driven movie franchise mm-hmm. that's gone to a fourth. This is the first time we've had a third sequel, a fourth movie. Yeah, Love and Thunder. Iron Man just went to three. three. Okay. Iron Man just went to three. Captain America just went to three. Yeah. I mean, nobody's gone to four yet. So Thor will be the first one that does it. I mean, it's Thor. All right. What's That's your next? Awesome. Okay. Uh, finally, Top Gun Maverick. Like, ah. <laughs> we were supposed to have that in 2021, and they took it away from us. And so hopefully it happens. We get that in 2022. So, I mean, it's just who can't be excited about that? I am actually looking forward to it. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm also going to go with uh, another Marvel movie, although this is a different Marvel uh, verse. This is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. The first uh, Spider-Man into the multiverse, the the, the first Miles Miles Morales uh, animated movie, it's an animated movie. There are a lot of people that pooped on it because it was animated. It was actually a fantastic Spider-Man movie. And with the success of No Way Home, I gotta just no believe. No spoilers, I still haven't seen it. With the success of that movie, I've gotta believe that another Spider Man movie is gonna be fantastic. So I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Um, let's see. You know, 
I am shocked. I didn't even know anything about this, but they're making another Legally Blonde. Legally that Blonde 3. That blows my mind. That blows my mind. It's been a long time. So it's, yeah. But I mean, I, I love me some Elle Woods, so I will see it. Mm. Uh, I, for, for me, I think the, the next sequel in the Scream series has to be why. That's that's my why for this. <laughs> and list. it's bringing it? the original people back. But that's that seems to be a trend that, I mean, there was the new Ghostbusters movie, which I haven't seen yet, where they brought back the original guys. Mm-hmm. And so I wonder if this Scream is going to kind of bring them back in that way that it's they're a part of it, but it's more like there's a new a new group. Could be. Never know. What's your next one? Uh, I mean, the Batman and that oh, new movie. Yeah, that looks, absolutely. It's. I'm always interested to see a new genre of Batman. Actually, uh, my niece, she's six. She got this um, Batman helmet for Christmas, and it's got a voice changer on it. Mm. So she said, I mean, it, it actually works. She'll talk, and and I was trying to figure out. There was a whole great debate at Christmas over what Batman voice were they actually using on that, and we never could pinpoint it. So I may have to bring it up here for a recording one day and get you know all of y'all to figure get out what our voice opinions. It is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my next one. I am totally flipping the script on this one. It's this is coming out of left field, but I am really, really looking forward to Cyrano. Um, this is uh, this is a movie that's based on the book, based on the book play Cyrano de Bergerac. Yeah, um, and uh, I've always loved that particular uh, story, and it's being played this time. Cyrano de Bergerac is being played by Peter Dinklage, who is one of my absolute favorites. He, of course, he is of uh, Game of Thrones fame. For those of you who don't recognize his name, he yeah. played Tyrion Lannister. Well, so I remember seeing the one with Steve Martin. I think I had to watch it in school. Roxanne! We yes. And I thought that was so interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think this is my last one, right? It is. So make it a good one. So, uh, the new Jurassic World. Okay. I think, mm-hmm. I mean, I like the Chris Pratt and, uh, oh crap, what's her name? Ah, the redhead. The redhead? What's her name? Uh, Bryce Dallas Howard. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. I like her. Yeah, there there are a couple of those redheads that are floating around, and I have trouble telling them apart. <laughs> you can't keep the redheads straight? Yeah, I mean, so I have no idea which one is in which movie. Yeah. Like, for instance, there's a, uh, another movie that's coming out soon, and this isn't my movie, by by the way, but it's it stars um, Jessica <laughs> Chastain. Jessica Chastain. Jessica yeah. Chastain, yeah. She's in something, and I was like, oh, I thought that was, you know, I mean, they, they all look alike. So yes, anyway, yes. I don't know. They would not like to hear that they all look alike, but well, they know. don't all look alike. Nothing like that, but still, <laughs> I mean, you know, they they are all very easily confused for each other. How about that? Yeah, please tell me that your last one is the one that I really wanted to do, but I didn't have enough times. I don't know what the last one was you wanted to do, so I have no idea if I can do it or not. To infinity. Oh, Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, this is. Actually, I think it's just called Lightyear, right? It is. Just, yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, I, I've already see the thing is I've already done one animated movie. Do I really want to do another one? It's, I... It can be our freebie between both of us. Okay. I, I mean, I I was a little weirded out because how could you do Buzz Lightyear without Tim Allen? As the especially with this animated, but apparently Tim has given the nod and said that Chris Evans is okay. Listen, I have seen the preview for Lightyear, and it. It looks. It looks good. It looks really good. So I'm I'm on board. Uh, no, actually, I, my last one is going to be Uncharted, which um, is a movie based on a video game, which is silly, but th- the movie actually looks really, really good and very interesting, and it yeah. stars Tom Holland. So um, you know, it looks like it might be a really fun story to watch. Uh, obviously, there are a ton of other movies that, oh, yeah, uh, so many. that didn't make our list that, that are coming out in 2022, assuming that they do come out. That's the thing. I think we've been building up movies because people have been holding off on releasing movies for so long that now there's just a list of movies that are like, oh, we'll release them all this year. But uh, there is our list, our final list for 2021, ladies and gentlemen. I guess, Katie... We should, uh, since since I sort of threw you off and did the list at the end, <laughs> we know. should we should sort of maybe uh, gather our thoughts and then do a bullseye. Bullseye, if you yeah. Can remember what it was that you uh, what it was that you said at the beginning there. Okay, back on my soapbox. Uh, no, it's just I hope everyone has a great New Year's Eve and really has a great twenty twenty two. 
Um, but the biggest thing I want you to remember is no matter what journey you're going on, um, whatever resolution you're t attacking, just try and remember that the internet has such great information out there. But if you take that extra step and really try and align yourself with that right team, you know, if it's fitness, find that right trainer or nutrition person to help you. Or if it's, you know, financial, then really get a financial partner or a tax preparer or a legal attorney, a legal person <laughs> that's called a lawyer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the, le the, the, the law people, that, go get a law person. Call that law person. But no, what I'm saying is, is that align your team because that is going to be that group of cheerleaders that makes sure you are following that right road. You're doing what's best for you and you're not just taking you know, dinner table conversation and maybe doing some good things, but it's not necessarily the best thing for you. Remember that story I told you about while, yes, contributing to your retirement account is great or funding your kid's education is great, but if it's not the best thing for you at this time, then that can really affect your overall plan. So just take a step back, find those partners, you know, like us here, we're happy to help you out and make sure you're doing the right thing that's for your financial goals and making all your dreams come true. Cause that's what 2022 is. 2022. Ooh, that's going to be a tongue twister. Y'all <laughs> 2022 is for all your dreams to come true. Okay. <laughs> 22. Okay. Listen, uh, I'm going to make mine a little bit more real. Can I get real a second for just a millisecond? <laughs> Um, yeah, no, but seriously, we are coming up on New Year's Eve. For those people who are prone to going out and having fun on New Year's Eve, please be safe. Uh, please be careful. Please don't drive drunk. Blah, blah, blah. You know all the things you're not supposed to do, so don't do any of them. Uh, and then, uh, hey, at least New Year's Day is a Saturday, so you, you get a uh, Saturday to, to watch some football and maybe even have a little hair of the dog if it suits you, and then you'll still have Sunday to recover before you go back to work. One thing that I do want to point out that I've been kind of just, I'm, I, I, Katie, I would call it chagrined. I am chagrined. We work in the financial industry, and of course, we close based on when stock markets are mm -hmm. closed. And so, for instance, with Christmas, if, if Christmas falls on a Saturday, then we take off the Friday immediately prior. If Christmas yeah. falls on a Sunday, we take off the Monday. Monday immediately after. They don't do that for New Year's. Mm -hmm. So we're not getting a New Year's Day off. I mean, we, we do. We have it off. Uh, it's a Saturday. It's but Saturday. <laughs> but we're not getting like an extra day off. No. So, so we I'll... will be here working on New Year's Eve if you need us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so that there's my bullseye. Drive safe. Be careful. Don't drink and drive. Have fun. Have a happy new year. And don't expect anything to be any better on January 1st because it's not going to change. It's all just going to be the same. The sun will come out. Bullseye. <laughs> Oh, ladies and gentlemen, there's the closing bell. You have made it to the end of yet another episode of the Bullcast Bullets Podcast. If you liked what you heard and you'd like to find out more about us, feel free to go to our website. That's bullcastpodcast.com. We also have um, a way for you to communicate with us on the website and leave us topic, uh, topic ideas, suggestions, guest or suggestions. guest suggestions, or if you just have a question you want to drop us, um, we will answer your questions on the next podcast that we can answer it. Um, if you'd like to follow us on Twitter, we have a Twitter handle that's at Bullcast Podcast, and we also have an Instagram handle, which I really don't like to promote because I don't really like the way I look right now, but... I'm going to promote it anyway. That's at Bullcast Podcast as well. And finally, we mentioned a few times during this episode that we work at a financial advisory firm. That's Pickler Wealth Advisors. And if you would like to find out more about us, there's more on there about us, uh, more <laughs> about our amazing team, or more about our boss, David Pickler, and how we do things over here, then please feel free to go to our website. That's PicklerWealthAdvisors.com. That's advisors with an O, not an not E. Not an E. That is correct. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have given you everything you need to go forth and have a very happy New Year's. So for now, I'm Court. I'm Katie. Cameron. We miss you, buddy. See you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.